Good morning on this lovely sunny Saturday in May. Oh my God, I don't even know where we are. We're in April. <laughs> Saturday the 22nd of April according to my phone. So excuse the obviously naked face and um, breakouts. I'm not quite sure what's going on with my face. But anyway, let's say hellos first. For those of you who have just joined me, my name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass, which I had five and a, let's say five and a half weeks. I think when you get past a certain point, you're not going to go five weeks and two days, etc., etc. That's really bright in my face. Sorry, people. I should have done all this. I'm not very good at organising myself before I go on camera. I kind of get there and then work it out as I go along. Um. So yeah, today. So welcome to anybody that's just joined my channel. Um. I'm known as Jan Silver or Jan Jan or Looking on the Lighter Side of Life because that's what I'm trying to do. I've lost um, two and two stone, I'll tell you again, I'm not prepared, one second. Please just hold on while I sort myself out. I have lost, when the phone decides to come up and work, 37.3 pounds or I've lost 16.9 kg or I've lost two stone, 9.3 pounds. That's really bloody good, isn't it? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I am happy with my weight loss, um, as slow as it's going, I guess. Um, I've woken up with a real crick in my neck today. Um, I, I think I must have slept a bit funny. And it started off on this side. I got my husband to rub some of that Nurofen gel in. And funnily enough, now it's on the other side. I think I just need to do some stretches or, or sort myself out, really. You know, it, it all comes from just being totally unfit and... <laughs> oh look, hi Harry in the garden. <laughs> That's my gardener. <laughs> well, my husband and my gardener. Bless him, he's pretending he likes the garden, but he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't like gardening. We love the garden. But And thank you to whoever said about my garden in the background. Yeah, it is rather nice. Um, we kind of bought the house like it though, so we pay a gardener to, to keep on top of it because we're, we're low maintenance people ourselves. Um, we'd rather be out and about. So I'm about to go um, at some point and have a long walk with Howie. I'm, I'm determined to hit my 10,000 steps plus today. Um, and it's such a beautiful day. We can't really sit in and not do it. And I wanted to just kind of say a couple of things that are not weight loss related, because I know I've got a few followers now. But, you know, for those of you who are thinking of getting back into exercise and doing it, you know, even the gear doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I mean, my, my, my sports bra, you've obviously got to contain these puppies, because if I didn't, they would they would really annoy me. They'd probably give me a black eye if I was deciding to do a bit of a jog. Not that I do, but you know what I mean. When I was on the treadmill years ago, the one thing you do have to have is a really decent sports bra if you've got larger breasts like myself. Um, hoping to keep the puppies too. And the other day, I will show you again a bit of a body shot while I'm in this kind of gear, is these kind of exercise trousers I got from Primark at five pounds people you know it was they were only five quid they feel really nice I think they're a size they're either a size 18 or a size 20 I can't quite remember um, I should have had a look on it again sorry um, but whatever I would always go for a size smaller in those things anyway because they tend to make you feel they tend to kind of hold you in a bit and make you feel protected the last thing you want is baggy pants when you're trying to exercise and they're falling down because that becomes really annoying um, and my sports bra is really, really, really old. And in fact, when I stopped wearing it until this time, I had put it on one day and almost couldn't get it off on my own. It was like, shit. Um, so I'm kind of recycling old cleaning T-shirts. And, you know, my trainers are old. I got them from Decathlon. So I haven't gone out. And I'm looking forward to going out and spending some money on nice gym gear. But I won't do that until I'm at a comfortable weight. And... You know, I know that I'm I'm at a weight where I'm going to stay for a while. The last thing you want to do is actually um, keep buying because you're losing weight. So I'm, I'm very conscious of that. And something else I wanted to talk about briefly, even though I'm not a reviewer, was this. This, this has amazed me. My daughter bought me... I tend to try and wear a bit of makeup most days if I'm not exercising. Obviously, I'm not going to put it on for, for exercising. But my daughter bought me one of these... <sighs> This is filthy now, but one of these 
makeup removing cloth. So I'm going to totally promote Primark again here. And it was, I think it's £1.50 or £2 from Primark in the makeup section. And for years of me wearing makeup, I have struggled with what to take it off with. I have done, for years, I used a very soft cream and a cotton wool bud that would take it off. And then obviously, um, a few years ago, all of these, you know, f makeup removing wipes came in and I used those. And a few times in Singapore, my face exploded, as in, I'd send a picture to my daughter going, shit, look what happened. And I had a reaction where, where I'd taken my eye makeup off, my face had just gone bright red and really, really raised and swollen. And it was angry and not happy with, with um, ready-made face wipes. So when she was pregnant with Willow, when Chelsea was pregnant with Willow, we decided that we would make our own wet wipes. So we actually, you know, looked on the internet and found the good, a good recipe of um, tea tree oil and lavender oil, baby lotion, uh, not baby lotion, baby oil and baby shampoo. And you mix that with hot boiling water, you know, 10 drops of the, the oils. And it was brilliant. So I've been using that for nearly a couple of years now, which has worked really well. But it, obviously, it's an effort because I have to make it and I keep it in a bottle and I, I soak my um, cotton pads in it. So that worked really well. But my daughter bought me one of these and said, Mum, you have to try it. And I'm not kidding you. It sat on my desk upstairs for maybe two months, totally did not believe that this was going to take off my makeup. Because had I have got into a bath with a full face of makeup on and used a flannel, let's say, to take off makeup, I would have ended up looking like a panda. My mascara would be down my face, down here, my you, everything, and it wouldn't have worked. So how this works so well, I can't tell you. But if you haven't tried it and you do wear makeup, give it a go. All you have to do is <coughs> rinse it in warm water. And I kid you not, maybe I'll, maybe I'll take my makeup off one day on here and show you. I am astounded that it gets it off almost with one wipe. And you're kind of going, what is it about a little bit of... And I've, this is my second one. Obviously, you know, it gets to a point because it's taking your makeup off, it's filthy. But you put it in the washing machine, it's come up brand new and you kind of go... It's almost like one of those microfiber cloths. I wonder if that would work. I wonder if you could buy a microfiber. Anyway, I've gone off track. But I just wanted to say, if you haven't tried it, and they're so cheap in Primark, and you've got a Primark by you, I'd go and get one. They're bloody good, actually. I get lots of things from there. Even this. This was Primark by. So, Mandy, today, my aim is to get two litres plus down, and this is the beginning for me. So I've had my force of all. I had a omelette. My husband cooked a really nice omelette this morning with his freshly grown asparagus and chilli. And it's kind of a masala omelette, really, which my eyes were bigger than my belly, though. He gave me a massive pizza slice and I didn't really need it. I had about two mouths of um, brown bread and um, brown toast with Marmite on as well. So, yeah, I'm well fed. I'm going to stay well hydrated with my little sips. And um, it's funny, actually, because we were talking this morning about how I'm supposed to get this drink in me when I'm walking. I know that I won't want to walk with this in my hand because that's really annoying. I like to have my camera. I actually have my, my phone in my bra um, so that I can bring it out if I find something I want to photograph. But um, having a so Howard said, well, let's, you know, you could get one of those backpacks that have the drink and the straws here. And, you, and so that might be an idea for me when I'm walking, um, if I carry this on. I'm still a bit scared to get on my bike at the moment because my back's still not 100%. Um, but I want that to change, obviously, because as soon as we've got our motorhome, the bikes, are, you know, we've got a motorhome with a garage at the back so that we can take our bikes um, I think that was something we realised early on when you pull up at a campsite, let's say, and then the town is three miles away, but you don't want to move your motorhome because you've set up and plugged it in. So we will be using our bikes for that and getting a bit fitter, obviously. So, yeah. Yeah, that's me. I enjoyed my glass of wine last night. Um, and we had quite a late night, actually, for us. So we've had a nice lazy morning this morning. And, yeah, we've got someone coming to talk about pulling down part of the garden to... to to make a driveway for the motorhome but I just wish this quick neck would go anyway guys it is a beautiful day I didn't want to waffle too much and I've done 10 minutes again well aren't you lucky Lisa don't work too hard everybody else I hope the day is wonderful and kind to you and I'll speak to you all again soon take care bye